Part of TLC's strategy, of course, has been not just to look after children in an institutional setting, but to really look at what we've learned and how can we make sure that the children don't come into the system in the first place. Like, what is it that's driving them here? And we've really looked at it. We've had a long time to understand that vulnerable women in desperate situations with a baby on the way make difficult choices. Let's not call them bad because there's no judgment in this. When you are fighting for your life, you do what you have to do to survive. And a newborn baby is often a threat to a mother's survival when she's living in an unsustainable situation with a baby. So let's take the judgment off the table and really look at how do we go to these mommies, find these mommies in their desperate situation and empower them in a different way. I'm not talking about just giving them food parcels and I'm not talking about just teaching them how to sew ironing board covers or dog beds. I'm saying how do we really invest in the family, in the matriarch on her own, not excluding the fathers, but in the South African context, many, many, many people that we come across are without partners. So they are women who have found themselves carrying a child and now are without support. Those women need to be supported to stand on their own feet, to be contributing to the economy, and especially to being able to sustain their family in a way that is self-determined. And to do that, we have to go upstream from where TLC has always been, where we've been receiving the babies after they've been born. How do we do that a little bit differently? Understanding that the mothers have come through generations of hurt and pain and difficult histories and broken families and and problematic maternal uh, exa examples and, and models. All of these things can be resolved, but they need to be resolved over time and with love and no judgment. And we can do all of that. We are, for better or worse, really good at loving people. And we can bring these mommies in and we can commit to building a relationship with them and believing the best is possible and then proving it. And we've done it and we've seen tremendously positive outcomes. But we don't have to do it alone and we can't do it alone. But what, I'm, what I mean by alone is you can do it. You can do it where you are by reaching out to the mothers in your community. You can offer yourself as a resource for advice and for guidance and for eldership and leadership and mentorship. Those are all within your power too. And we are doing it in our particular context and we really believe that this is a strategy that we can do that prevents the need for children to ever come into institutional care or foster care for that matter. This is a way of really undergirding the social fabric by equipping mothers to do their job well and to sustain their families in a way that is meaningful and breaks that cycle of intergenerational trauma and, and the sense of not belonging to community and not having a place in the world but completely being isolated and on their own and having to fight just for themselves. We can build, we can build relationships, we can build communities but we have to all do it together. We have to all want strong, positive, uh, loving spaces, but we have, to, we have to live it. You can't just make it and then walk away. You have to make it a lifestyle. You have to live the community. You have to walk your values every day um, and, and just really lean in to the messiness that is humanity and understand that even on your worst day, I'm going to love you through that. When you can do that, you can change a life and uh, and that's really what we believe here so i look forward to the journey with our mothers as part of our strategy to make sure that uh, children don't end up in institutional care